Well, good morning. We got the kookaburras. He's about to go off. Oh, we got a bit camera shy. Um, well, we finally got a break in the weather here. It's um, it's been a couple of days since I got my queenie. And that was a bit of a funny day because I was just looking around. And if you haven't seen that video, obviously go and watch it. But um, I was just looking around and I sort of found them and, and there was a current line but there was a wind and then the wind and the current dropped out at the same time so it was kind of like a it was like a perfect storm. I got one fish but then once the tide stopped pushing in there the fish sort of left because obviously there's no pressure point without the, the tide and stuff so yeah, it was a bit weird but um, no it's not weird it was just bad timing on my behalf but hopefully today we can get out there and, and find some more fish in that spot. Um, and probably look at some other spots as well because I did have a bit of a motor around and uh, obviously there's a shipping channel out here no secret that fish hang around poles so I've uh, sounded some sounded some decent fish on those poles didn't have didn't have much of a chuck at them but um, we will today and the weather's going to be perfect until about 12 o'clock and then it's going to build again so we better get out there better pack this rig up and um, it's, I mean, it's pretty quick, it only takes two minutes. And um, yeah, just lucky I, lucky I don't have a TP. Um, otherwise I wouldn't be able to stay here if I had a TP. So anyways, let's pack all this up. Let's get down to the ramp, it's like three minutes away. And um, let's shoot out there and get some fish, hopefully. Keep moving. Some fish there, look. Fish is there. We found some. We found some fish. Look, just like that they're gone, eh? They're around though, they're around. Fish out that side there, look at that. Fish out that side there. I don't fucking mind fishing on top of you around here either, huh? Here they are. Some queenies here. There's one, yep. There we go. There we go. Yep. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There he goes. I gotta go around these people that are anchored up, hey. That's the problem I'm gonna have here. But we're on. That's good. <laughs> Good. I think we're gonna drift around these dudes, so hopefully, hopefully, yes. <laughs> oh, now he's wrapped up. Super good. He's super wrapped up. Good now. 
Let's chuck it in reverse. Gotta get around these guys. Now we're clear of the boat, we can actually fight our fish. There we go. Good cleaning. Very happy with that. Very, very happy. Green fish. Very good. I don't know if that's it, but we'll work it out. We'll see what happens. Very good. Saw him on a sounder. Chased him up and down this current edge this morning. And um, a bit different spot to where I got the last one, but um, we got one nonetheless. So got to be happy with that. He's probably 90 something, but we'll get him back in now. So. Very nice and very nice. Guy for me, bro. Got a guy for me. Oh, he's just about ready, huh? I feel him. He's pushing against me. Go. Yes. <laughs> Take two on the release there. <laughs> Take two. Oh, sorry, buddy. <laughs> well, that's going to be it for this spot here. The tide sort of dropped down. We chased him around for a while, as you saw. But, um,. Yeah, there's no current here now. The current line, they seem to disappear. I don't know if they go deeper or shallower, or I don't know what they do, but uh, they seem to be here pushing up on that tide so, as the tide's coming in. So all I might do now is just go and look at the rest of these beacons up this shipping channel. Um, I don't think it's any secret. The fish hang around shipping channel beacons. So we'll do that now and um, stick with it. We'll see what we can find. Definitely bait on this one because that bird he has got a mouthful. <laughs> Get in there and scan it and see if there's any fish eating the bait instead of birds. Got bait, mate? Got bait or what? What are we doing here, guys? So right, let's fish it. That's a good fish. Yep, that's a very good fish. Yep, he's going back to the pole. Let's get him up. Come on. That's a very good fish. That's a very good fish. Oh, he's big. It's a big Jew. Big Jewy. Big Jewy, I reckon. Way under gunned. <laughs> nah, he's alright. He's alright, he's alright. I'm just lucky he swam sort of this way, not into the pole, so. This will be, uh, this will be a good fish, this one. It's gonna be a very good fish. If I don't fall into the bloody water, I'll be alright. Proper rod bend, that one. Let me just show you what could have been. Just the heartbreak, mate. Just the heartbreak here, look at this. Oh, how's the heartbreak? Oh, that's a massive fish, hey. Well, look at the size of that, eh? 
Look, look at the size of it. Imagine with the rest of its body. Fully sharked. It's probably a little bit undergun, but there was sharks down there, so what can you do? That is just, just heartbreak, isn't it? Look at it. Absolute heartbreak. Ah, uh, well, that is what could have been a bloody great Jewfish, but wasn't meant to be. Broke the net, getting it in, and then uh, Lua was way down there, got it out. But um, even with these fish, they're no take anyway, so we shouldn't. Um, I mean, you could probably knock a fair fillet off there, but yeah, you can't in case you get caught. So, anyways, drop him back in for fish food, I think. That'll be about it. Ah, oh, well, that is that. That's some hard work for not much. We're gonna go in now and have a feed, and that's that's basically how to break a fisherman's heart. So, tune in for more heartbreaking. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to do now, mate. Just go in, have a feed, and just chill out. So, anyways, appreciate the view, and we'll see you on the next one. Try and tick some more goals. A black jewfish is a goal, but that doesn't count because that was only half a jewfish. So. Alright, I'll see you on the next one.